channel, welcome if you are new. If you are new, hi, my name is Shabana, nice to meet you. I'm really in a good mood right now because I just completed this makeup look and honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not a makeup artist, guru, whatever, but I think it looks, you know, pretty good. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this look using this palette by The Balm and let me just say, it's the bomb. <laughs> I'm actually really loving this makeup palette a lot. And I'm probably going to do another look with it. So if you guys are interested, let me know. But yeah, I'm honestly so happy with the way this turned out. Like, like what? I did that? I did that? I did this? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are interested on seeing how to get this makeup look, uh, just keep watching. Oh, and also go follow me on social media so we can be friends. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Okay, okay. <gasps> Let's get on with the So video. for a smoky eye look, I want to be able to do like a sharp line on my eye with eyeliner and everything. So I'm going to use tape, but the first thing I'm going to do is get my hair out of my face because if it's anywhere in my way, it's going to annoy me. That's much better. So I'm going to start off by using scotch tape to just create a sharp line against the edge of my eyes. So I'm going to put a piece of tape off of the natural shape of my eye and kind of make it as an angle towards my eyebrow a little bit if that makes sense okay so now that i look like a crazy tape person with these like tape things on my eyes i'm gonna move on to using this palette i'm super excited to try it out and see what i can do with it <laughs> so i'm gonna use this glamour dolls brush that i got from my ipsy box with this pink color called stubborn right here and i'm gonna put it all over my eyelid kind of as a base Wait, I should prime my lids first? Good job for remembering. Props to me. Where is my primer? Oh, found it. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I know it says foundation, but I don't have an eyelid primer. So I finished, I figured something is better than nothing, right? And before I started, I washed my face and put moisturizer on, in case you're wondering. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the color Stubborn, like I said, and put it all over my eyelid. I'm gonna use the color Sophisticated right here and just start blending this into my crease. And I'm just gonna use this little like pencil brush type of thing. I don't know where it came from. These colors are super pigmented, which is awesome. Ooh, okay, let's blend it out. I'm gonna blend it out with this scone brush that I got from my Ipsy subscription box. So now I'm gonna use the color, this black, color serious we're getting serious over here on the outer corner of my eye oh I like that oh yeah all right let's blend this out with the same blending brush I used before my eyebrows need help okay so now I'm going to brighten up the front half with the color standoffish it's really pretty like pink color I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more so I'm gonna use this color sexy because I'm sexy oh, I'm getting that. so I'm gonna use that to add a little bit of color up over here and I'm gonna go in with that black color serious one more time Wow I've been filming for 12 minutes already I'm going to use this, the Balm Bon Voyage, like little mini thing I got in an Ipsy subscription, and I'm obsessed with this as well, because it's the perfect crease color, or I mean, like inner corner color, so I'm going to put that in my inner corner. And now, I'm going to attempt to, to do eyeliner. Oh, hmm. I'm going to use the M Cosmetics Liner. And this is super fine point, which is why I'm choosing to use it. And it's just black, and I got it in an NFC subscription. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do eyeliner. This might go really bad, because I'm not good at this, but we're going to try, <laughs> okay? Okay, that's why I have tape, right? That's why I have tape. I'm actually going to do this off camera, because I'm going I'm to, I need to help. <laughs> so, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I did my liner. I don't know how it came out. We're going to take the tape off and find out right now. I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. All right, all right. It's not terrible. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara. I'm going to be using the Tarte Lifted Mascara. I also got this in an Ipsy box. Ipsy should sponsor me. <laughs> This is the finished eye look. Let's do the rest of my face. I'm gonna start off with primer. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Yeah. I haven't had this for that long, but so far I'm really liking it. Okay, so now that my face is primed, I'm gonna go in with some foundation. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation in the color 2.1. I just bought this, so we're gonna see how it goes. And I'm just gonna use a beauty blender to apply it. This is not a real beauty blender. I got it for like three bucks at Forever 21. So far, I'm liking this. So now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I just bought another tube of this because I liked it so much the first time I had it. So this is the Super Stay Better Skin Concealer by Maybelline. I've used an entire tube of this and I actually really like it. I find it works really well and it matches my skin tone really well as well, so it's great. So I just put it under my eyes and then a couple of places where I needed a little extra coverage, but honestly that foundation did a really good job, so I didn't need to put a lot of concealer everywhere. I'm really liking this makeup look. What do you guys think so far? Okay, so now that I'm going to be using this uh, Stay Matte Remel Powder, and mine needs to be replaced. And then, when I was doing my Halloween makeup tutorial video, I got a little bit of latex in one of my um, powder brushes, the one that was my favorite. And I got it out, but it's like really grew, like full of oil now, and I can't get it out. So I can't use that brush. I have another brush coming in the mail soon, but like... I'm upset because I like that brush. Anyway, so I'm going to be using this really shitty one that I have because I don't have a whole lot of powder brushes, so um, I hope it works. Okay, that didn't work too bad. It's a really, really crappy brush though, so I didn't have high expectations to begin with. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some blush. I'm using the Dia- oh, wait, actually, no, I'm going to use this part thing because when I went to Sephora to get my foundation, I signed up for like a points card and they were like, here's a birthday gift because my birthday was like two months ago and I was like, let's get free stuff. So this is the Tarte Party Blush and I'm very excited. I don't know if it will look good or not, but I'm going to use it anyway. So it just looks like this. It's really pretty. And then I'm going to be using this Tarte brush that I have. It's like double sided. This is probably not for blush at all, but I'm using, I've always used it for blush. What do you guys think? I think I like it. And I'm going to use the Art Amazonian Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I got this in an Ipsy box as well. And with this brush that I got in my Ipsy box, which actually says Pre Precision Foundation on it. And it has nothing to do with bronzer. But I was like, this will be a good bronzer brush. <laughs> it works okay, don't judge me. And now my favorite thing ever is highlight. This is the NYX Illuminator Highlighter. I'm gonna use this Lancome 4 brush to put it on. I don't know what I'm doing with brushes. I usually don't use the right ones. And now let's move on to brows. I'm terrible at brows and my brows need some help anyway. So I'm gonna try to fix them. Let's be real, they're not gonna. They're, they're just, it, they can't be fixed. They need help. So I'm just using a spoolie to like shape them and then I'm gonna use like this brow kit thing I got from Ipsy. Me and Ipsy are like... That's as good as they're gonna get. Now lips. So in this kit that I got my uh, blush in, I also got a lip thing and I kind of want to try it out. But it's this really like nude pink color. I don't know. I'm gonna put it on and see, but it's the Tardiest Lip Paint in Birthday Suit color. I'm scared. Ah, okay, here we go. Ah. Oh, I like this. What do you guys think? I think I like it. I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't do lips often, guys. <laughs> I don't. Okay, so I think this is it. I like I really like it. This palette is amazing. Like, what? I'm definitely doing another look with this soon, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. But I am like, 
Google it. I did this. I did this. I don't do makeup, guys. I, I, I'm just, I'm just, let me take my hair down so you guys can, like, get the whole effect. Okay, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you check out LNHS Fashion down below to get your very own nude palette and more. They have so many other things on there. Make sure you are subscribed again so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And let me know what you guys think because I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I, I like this. Go follow me on social media and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Go back to what I was saying. Could be